A church is built on most important foundations. I've got a two-part series that I want to talk to you. In this series, I'll be talking to you about the foundations of the church. Welcome to New Dawn Ministries. A church was brought into conception by the words of Jesus. In the book of Matthew chapter 16, we see a discussion between Jesus and Peter. And Jesus, in this instance, he's going to establish the church, which is known as the Ecclesia, the gathering of the saints. A church has a very important foundations, which I want to explore with you. I'll be taking you through the most important foundations that holds the church. Our scripture will be found in the book of Matthew chapter 16 and I'll be reading from verse 17. It says, Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. This is very important. Jesus is talking to Peter and Jesus is revealing something that is very important. Peter had made a confession about the identity of Jesus Christ. And on the basis of that identity and on the basis of that confession, then Jesus comes to Peter and he says to Peter, what you just said was not revealed to you by flesh and blood but it was revealed to you by his Father in heaven. And I want you to notice at the language, Jesus says that what Peter confessed was not revealed by flesh and blood. In other words, Jesus used a spirit of discernment to discern the words that Peter was using to confess as he was identifying who Christ was. And, and this is very important because this is the inception of the church. Jesus used the word reveal. There was a revelation. This is a revelatory statement. Jesus says, this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but it was revealed to you by my Father in heaven. And this is discernment, and this is prophetic. A church needs a prophetic ministry for it to effectively function. And we see it right here at the, in, at the inception of the church, when Jesus was talking to Peter, Jesus says to Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed the identity of who Christ was, but it was God. So a prophetic ministry forms a very important integral part of a church. A prophetic ministry, it is responsible for revealing the mysteries of God and making them known to the congregation. It is very important that each and every church embraces a prophetic ministry. We need a prophetic ministry in our churches so that a church can become an effective movement, an effective vehicle that can bring about the kingdom of God in this world. Now, a prophetic ministry, it is responsible for revealing what is hidden. A prophetic ministry, it is responsible to discern the spirits behind actions and behind words. A prophetic ministry is also responsible for giving a divine direction, to give also a divine season in which the church is finding itself in. Amen. Let's continue in verse 18. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hate 
will not overcome it. This is important. So Jesus then continued as he was talking to Peter. He was saying to him, upon this rock, I will build my church. This is a construction language. So Jesus started by saying what Peter was saying was not revealed to him by flesh and blood. And that was prophetic. And in the verse 18, Jesus then comes and he says, Upon this rock, I will build my church. This is very important because when Jesus says he will build his church, he's talking a construction language. And a construction language, it is an apostolic ministry. A church needs an apostolic ministry. An apostolic ministry, it is a pioneering ministry. It is a ministry that is responsible for building, for equipping, and also for a governance. This is a very important ministry. Amen. It is quite said in these days that the prophetic and the apostolic ministry, they are overlooked and they are undermined. But these two ministries, right at the conception of the church, Jesus Christ evoked these two ministries. These two ministries are at two sides of the same coin. A church or an effective church needs a prophetic and an apostolic ministries working hand in hand. And this was revealed by Jesus Christ. An apostolic ministry, it is responsible to establish us in the truth of God. An apostolic ministry, it is responsible to pioneer the movement of God. People and churches ought to be built on the foundations of the prophetic and the apostolic ministry. And Jesus, when he was talking to Peter, he, 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 he released, he hinted into these two most important ministries. Amen. Now, as I was saying, the prophetic ministry, it is responsible for guidance. And the apostolic ministry, it is responsible for governance. Because Jesus says, I shall build my church upon this rock. And the gates of hell or the governance or the structure of the hierarchy of the kingdom of darkness will not prevail against the establishment of the church because the church has been established both on the apostolic and also on the prophetic. And I want to take this further. If you can go with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and I'll be reading from verse 18, uh, from verse 19 to verse 18. And listen to what it says. It says, and this is Paul writing to the Ephesians. He says, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Now listen to verse 20. It says here, Build on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. This is profound. So what Paul was saying to the Ephesians, he was saying that their faith was built on the foundations of the prophets and the apostles, where Jesus Christ himself is the chief cornerstone. This is important. So Paul was basically saying that it, the, the apostolic and the prophetic ministry, they need to work hand in hand in establishing us, the body of Christ, the members of the church, in the truth that is found in the word of God. The prophetic and the apostolic ministry, they are uniquely anointed. They are uniquely skilled. They are uniquely gifted to establish the truth of God. The apostolic ministry, it is responsible for governance and to establish and to bring about the kingdom of God here on earth. While on the other hand, the prophetic ministry, it is responsible for revealing the mysteries, 
that are hidden and making them known to all of us. Now, the apostolic ministry, it is responsible to interpret the scriptures to us, the custodian of the interpretation of the divine order that is found in the word of God, it is held by the apostolic ministry and also the divine order to reveal the hidden mysteries unto the church is held by the prophetic ministry. This is profound. Paul was an apostle of Jesus Christ and Paul went into the Gentiles and he revealed to them the mystery that was hidden for generations, that Gentiles can also partake, they can also become sons and children of God. But he obtained that insight because he was both built in the prophetic and also in the apostolic. And I want to conclude by saying that Jesus Christ ought to be the chief cornerstone when Jesus spoke to Peter, he says, upon this rock, I shall build my church. The church is not built on the apostolic or the prophetic. The church is built on the rock. And the rock is Jesus Christ himself. And I love it how Paul concludes this verse, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. He says, build on the foundations of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. This is profound. A chief cornerstone is a keystone that is important to hold a building together. You remove a chief cornerstone, the entire building will collapse. Thank you so much for joining, tuning and connecting with us. We've now come to an end and I just want to pray. Father, we thank you for this message. We thank you that you are encouraging us, O oh God, that we ought to be built on the foundations of the prophetic and the apostolic ministries, Lord Jesus. And I pray that churches will begin to embrace and celebrate these important ministries in our churches. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, as I said, this is a two-part series. Please connect with us next week on Tuesday at 6 o'clock on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. Till we see you next time, may God bless you.